Good morning. Alright, so it's five o'clock in the morning. I'm in Prague. And, uh, I'm on my way to my rental car to drive to Germany to buy a van. To be honest with you, I don't have a clue what I am doing, but going for it anyway. Uh, I'm converting a Mercedes Vario Maxi into a living home and hopefully workplace. Um, if you want to do something like this and you have no idea what you're doing, you might want to follow me in this journey. Because uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. But hey, follow your dreams. Well, we're halfway there. Halfway there. A new car. I don't have the license yet to drive it, but hey, we've got a friend driving it. Check that bad boy. Yeah, bad boy. To the Czech Republic. It can only do 90 kilometers now, but apparently I can uh, de restrict that on this car so it can go to 120 roughly. And, mate, I'm so fucking happy. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, look at that beauty. Let's show off my car now. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful. Oh. oh yeah, look at Jordy. <laughs> I'm driving back, as you can see, Jordy's in the car, driving it for me. I bought this car in Germany. Um, it's got yellow number plates, it's last four or five days, and uh, it should be all right in the Czech Republic. It doesn't work in all countries, these yellow um, I only took the one for five days because one for I think a month or so would cost 200 euros more and I reckon I can sort of have within five days which is probably not going to happen, it's not really going to happen, but I'm willing to take, take the risk. Um, anyway, the risk isn't that bad because if I get caught with these number plates I'll probably get a fine for about 20 euros. It's a lot less than having to pay 200 euros. Um, but yeah, the mileometer is working, but the speedo is not. Uh, so that has to be checked. Uh, it has to be fixed. Um, and once I fix that, then I can do the MOT. And once the MOT is done, then I can get the paperwork for the car put into my name. It's pretty easy. Long. And once I do that, I'll probably start doing the work on it. I've got two friends of mine coming over to look at it, uh, the designers. Um, so we'll all our creative minds together and try and make something of this. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. But I'm really looking forward to it. It's just. I can see how hard it's going to be and uh, how little I know. Follow your dream. Follow you. So here we are. Mercedes Vario has made it to Prague. We've parked it next to a train station. It's my girlfriend Hannah. And let's go have a look. <laughs> So yeah, so his driving area, you can actually stand upright in this area. Everything seems to be fine. It's got a nice little door into the back. And 
here's the space on the inside. Oh, let's open the door. There's a nice little IKEA trolley in it. Don't know how that got there. Uh, that's it really. How should I make this space is now what I'm wondering.